We're on video, Stephen, so you oh, might want to be careful how silly you are. The little alarm said, um, Matt to tea. Okay, let's go. Get this <laughs> Here's our first job. <coughs> I think you're going to be doing some work on the vines, Matthew. <coughs> so we have some little fruit growing here. Don't we? You have set the table. Um, there we it. So we're just waiting for you and Stephen to come in and work out what you're going to do for dinner. That's right. I'll be going to go Russian and have some smoganov. Smoganov? What is it called? Smolodov. It was a brand of uh, <laughs> vodka, wasn't it? Smirnoff. Gonna have beef Smirnoff. It's not quite it, is it, Matthew? Matthew's looking a bit puzzled. Matthew is often puzzled when he's around me. This is my strange ways. But we'll manage somehow or other. I have to go and put my makeup on. I did warn him, Matthew, that there was going to be video. Here right. am I dressed in my jumper that makes me look really big. That's right, I've got my garden here on and change. If you will excuse me, good sir. I must put on my cocks gear. <coughs> will you excuse me, good sir? <coughs> Is it in your... <coughs> so it makes <coughs> beef strong enough tonight. <coughs> I have uh, my friend, my friend Matthew, he's a god of help me. And why am I speaking in Italian music? I don't know. It could be because little Dominic's uh, local fruit and veg has closed, has a closed, and we get a new management. And we have some of those stuff here tonight. Okay, so I put on the chef's costume. Because my friend, Matthew, he, li he finds it amusing. So that little bit of giggling you are here is my friend, Matthew Kala. He is a very non connoisseur of st beef strofo fo 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 So we get out of the ingredients. We must... Oh. Take down the pan. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe the pot as well to do the um, pasta later. Pasta. Can't we use uh, the little saucer pan? Well, I bet you can. Okay, I like a saucer pan. Smaller. Now, we need, we need the ingredients. Where is the recipe? Who has pinched the recipe of this? Beef strong enough of us. Here. Here is mine. 
recipe. Would you say um, it's a recipe? If we try this. Okay. So we need the steak and we need the plain flour. Here is the plain flour. Salt and the pepper. Mm. So, Hida and Matthew were asking whether we were going to make it with um, a jar or from scratch, and I said no, we're, going to, we're definitely making it from scratch. That's right. The pepper will have to be this pepper here, I think. Okay. Uh, we need the sweet paprika. Okay. And we need uh, vegetable oil. Put that there. <laughs> the strange sound effects there, Matthew. It's best that these things are left unspoken about, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. Here we have the meat, nicely from the butcher. The meat. So he sliced it thinly, Matthew, so when Stephen unwraps it, we'll be able to see how well that worked, won't we? Here we have the mushrooms. <laughs> Woo, my apron is a slipping it down. I think we tied it to the front. That would be better. Oh, that looks yeah, that's right. Okay. What else do we need? The cream, we get that out a little later. We need the garlic cloves. The garlic cloves. We get that. Oh, yeah. It's going to get cold. And the longer we can leave it without putting the heating on, the better. So here we are, it's, um, what time is it, Matthew? 5.13 and you finish the gardening, you and Stephen, did a little bit of gardening. And now it's all about the cooking. Three cloves of garlic. Here we are. There we are. There is the assistant cook to do the preparation. I wonder. They promised me. But you know how it is in these programs, they promise Matthew. and nothing materializes. Matthew just supervises, don't you Matthew? But he supervises with all his heart and soul. That's good. Okay. Oh, they seem, maybe that's more than one there. Have a look and see. They say it will take 15 minutes to prepare, but I think it will take me 15 minutes just to prepare the garlic. Oh. The uh, garlic, it is uh, prepared for cutting, so I cut <coughs> it up. Uh, the recipe just says chopped. Just chop it up, I guess, <coughs> into little pieces. There we are. I don't use garlic very much. So, so when you go home tonight, Matthew, people will be saying, oh, you smell so much of garlic. What do you? 
They'll say you've been to uh, a Russian, Italian, German a restaurant. Mm. A nice. So we chop up the garlic. Yeah. Prepare the garlic. Mm -hmm. I wash the marshmallow. One cup of tomato puree. of these stocks. Are there are those jugs down there, Stephen? Measuring jugs. Okay. But it's on the lower shelf. No, no, no. The other one. The one you were in. Beef stock. So it is. Got all these different measuring bits, hasn't it? Here's the meat. Let's hope it's been beautifully done. Recycling bin. and bowls. I'm not sure what all this is about because I would have put them in a plastic bag and just sort of shaken it up with the flour. Who is a cooking of this meal? I ask. Who does the washing up afterwards? Mm. Next to time we probably get it Matthew more says efficient. me and you. That's right. So, um, So I look at the method. What does the method say? So we've got to now, so step one is to coat the meat and fry it up a third at a time. So yes, putting it in a bag would have been a good idea. Can you show us the size of the um, meat? Yes, something a bit like that. Okay. So that's very good, yes. By putting it in a bag, then you would have um, distributed all the... Uh, all the we can stuff. still do that, we can still do that. So I need one of those um, sandwich bags. To speak to the camera, yes. 
let's do that. See, it's put, I would say, put the lot in and then you can um, shake it around. Shake it around and do it a third at a time when you're cooking. Step through here, try not to throw it over. Now we'll do the, the beans. Get a bowl. All right, I could have that, I guess. Why not? So this is the first third. Well, I'll do it in two halves. Of the first half, yeah. Okay, so now we're moving on to the second lot. So we've got the water heating up, the pasta, and putting on the onions and no, garlic and mushrooms. I think it's wet tomato paste. Good. Here we go. Cool. Well, it's certainly different to anything we've done before. Mm. So are you still feeling hungry, Matthew? You may be put off. Because he could see more intimately how it was cooked. Andrew Hastings, and I am a retired TAFE lecturer. It's now about six years since I hung up my dust chalk and took to the lovely leisure hours that we have <laughs> as a retired folk. <laughs> I do a bit of singing and I learn some languages. I have my ukulele and my other instruments. Let me tell you about my instruments. Well, in this room I have, well, an electric piano. And then surrounding it is my cello, trombone, and tucked away uh, somewhere else is the trumpet. So uh, these 
little diversions keep me amused. And of course, uh, doing lovely things with my wife. So thank you very much for inviting me to join you in this video session. Goodbye.